Today we're going to replace this doorstop with a magnetic 3D printed doorstop. Let me explain what I'm talking about. A while back, we updated our kitchen and decided to use our garage for much more than a garage. It's almost like uh, an extra room in the house. We use it for all kinds of different things. And when we did that, this door got a lot more use. So what we, what we decided to do was to replace these hinges with spring-loaded hinges so that this door, when it comes open, it will also close. The second thing we did was we removed the handle with this pull handle so now it doesn't latch. Now, I know that might not be popular for some people, but we also did that with this door to the pantry. We replaced this back door with a similar setup, right? So it'll automatically close and it'll latch for you. We did it with a couple of other doors in our house. This solution's really awesome with one exception. We also go in and out of this all the time, and but it always stays closed. And so a while back, we also bought uh, these little door stops. And the door stops are good. They do the job, they get the job done but I'm telling you, you must have bought 10 of these things and they always go missing in our house. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through our design process for building these out. This is a solution that will magnetically hold the door open. So let's walk through how we did that today. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this door. Down here at the bottom, we've got this little bumper that keeps us from hitting the trim or the wall. I like the spacing of the bumper and I don't wanna change that. So we're gonna make sure that we still have that bumper effect, but when it hits open, I want it to hold that door open using magnets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of duplicate that bumper shape, or that bumper geometry with a TPU piece that fits just the perfect angle so that when that door is fully open, magnets take over and hold it open. So that's the game plan. Let's get into the design piece. Okay, so to do this design, I've already designed it. I'm just gonna step you through kind of my design process. The first thing we did was we started out with essentially a cylinder, right? Very simple cylinder. And we added an offset plane. Now this offset plane is gonna be the angle at which we cut this piece, right? That angle that we're dealing with is 12 degrees. So that's the offset of that angle. And then we're going to extend that cylinder a little bit taller and utilize that offset angle to chop it short. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of holes. So the first hole we're going to put in is the hole to mount this into the wall. It's basically going to be a screw, a single screw, and inside that hole it actually tapers from kind of a larger center hole to a smaller center hole so that this screw has something to rest on up there at the shoulder, right? So this screw will go nice and tight through that hole. And then we're also going to add four holes for these magnets up at the top, right? So those four holes, they don't have the magnets installed in them yet, but that's where those magnets will live. In order to do that, you have to just draw these four circles there on that top surface and then extrude them and make sure you fit them just right. The last step, we added some nice uh, smooth edges on the whole thing all around it and slice it and print it. Once you do that, you're gonna come out with this. We printed this out of TPU. So TPU is a softer material. You can see it'll still give us that doorstop feel. Let's install the magnets and see if it fits, how it holds onto the wall, how strong it is, and then we'll put it on the wall. Okay, so the print is done. I wanna pull out this and show you a little bit closer. It's not perfect. This TPU I think is wet and a little bit old. So I've had it for quite a while and it didn't print ideally. I think it's good enough for this project. Let's, let's glue it up. I'm gonna go a little heavy on this first one. Number two, I'm trying to keep them all oriented in the same direction. So there's another one. Okay, there's one more thing we're gonna do on this before we put it on the wall. Since I'm only using one screw to hang it in the wall, this may have a tendency to rotate if it gets kicked or something. So I'm gonna put these command strips on the back side of it so that when I put it on the wall, the command strips will keep it from rotating and the screw, of course, will keep it from coming off the wall. So that's the game plan. Let me put these command strips on there and then we'll get to installing. Okay, I got problems. As you can see, I printed this piece wrong. The angle is off. I think I printed this or I designed it at 12 degrees and I'm pretty sure it should have been just six degrees. So I made a math 
error somewhere. Naturally, the solution to that is just correct the angle and reprint the part. It wouldn't be a big deal, except here's the problem. I'm almost out of TPU. So that's my second problem. The good news is this. This is the game plan is I just designed a shim and the shim is going to go kind of on the back of this piece and give it a little bit of space so that that angle, I can still use this piece on the wall. I'll explain it a little bit better in a minute. And I'm printing that shim. It's going to be two millimeters thick. I'm printing it out of this white material here on the printer. So it didn't go as well as I planned. Hopefully this shim does the job. Should fit perfectly. Same dimensions, both spots. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this double-sided tape on both pieces. The other piece is going to go here. We'll see if that is enough to take up our gap. If it's not, we'll print a second shim. And we're just going to do the trial and error method here. Let's give it a try with one shim. All right, we're back here at the door. Got our shim installed. Let's put it on here. We're going to do a quick little test. Let's see if it fits. I think we're still a little bit too far up here, so we're going to go a little further. We're going to kind of keep testing it until that tape sticks on the wall. It looks like right there might be my spot. There it is. So that's my new spot. And the last piece I'm going to do is screw it into the wall and we'll see if it's strong enough to hold the door. I'll grab my screwdriver. And before I screw it in, let's do one more quick little check. I think I'm going to move it a little bit further up. All right, so that's our spot, but I want to do, do another look at this. I'm not sure that's going to do my do the job for me. How are we going to solve this? Okay, so that last video didn't work. And you can see here, the first shim I tried to make was basically a flat shim. And I went back to the drawing board and redesigned it with a little bit of a wedge shape. This shape is about six degrees. It adds six degrees to my wedge. Basically what this allows me to do is to put this bumper out towards the corner on the wall and it gives it the right angle uh, it's basically essentially a 12 degree angle between the, the wall and the door. So this corrects a miscalculation I made earlier and gives me the right angle. And right here, I'm going to add some tape to the setup and stick these two together. And then in a few minutes, we're going to go put this on the door. All right, we're back at the door. We've got our magnet with our wedge in there between it, and we're gonna see if we can find the right spot on the wall here. So let's get this lined up just right, and boom. Now the tape is sticking, or it should be sticking to the wall here. And you see how I've got a little gap right there between the corner, or in the door? The corner and the door is exactly where I want it. So I don't want that door slamming into the corner. So let's pull that door closed, and I'm pretty confident in this. Let's screw this in place. Now, let's do some tests, see how this door opens. Now, this serves two purposes. Number one, it keeps me from banging up that corner in the door. It's kind of got that little squishy feel. You can see it squishing like that right there. But since the door is metal, now it'll hold the door open. Um, now, here's the other thing I want to make sure. I want to make sure it doesn't hold it too tight, but it it holds it just strong enough. And I feel like it's gonna be able to hold it pretty well. You know, time will tell here, but let's, let's do it. So a little push there to close it and do another test run. See now, this is a good thing here. See how it bounces? If you bounce it, it'll bounce. Only way to really get it to stay open is to hold it open. So that's perfect. All right, that's it for this video. I just wanna thank you for watching. And I wanna encourage you, definitely learn your math, learn that trigonometry so you don't have to do rework like I just did on your project. So that's it, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon.